so what you're seeing now is a napoleon of what i think this time is a barnacle not a calanoid i need to check this um so right now i'm just showing a lot of the details on this napoleon i thought it was quite pretty so now you can see it under the 10 times objective now you can see the details on its stomach and eyes now zooming out you can see this arrow worm its latin name is chetonath and around this you can see some um, conscinodiscus. And what you see there, I think, is the exoskeleton of some sort of amphipod, which would explain why you can't see much in the chetonaths um, of what they've eaten, is what I mean. And everything else, of course, would be digestive, digested by some kind of fluid. So now you can see it under the 40 times objective in dark field. I just switched to t 10 times, and now you're in the 4 times objective again. And zooming out you can soon so this is a zoea it it's basically a crab larvae um they have this odd exoskeleton but looks kind of spiny almost it like it has two spines i don't mean I mean spines as in a point, not a bone, since this is, um, these don't have bones, they're invertebrates. Now I accidentally switched the color temperature, but I got it to go back. Now I switch back to dark field and I'm looking at this, which I do not have the identification of. It could be a Halicaridia, also known as a saltwater mite. And then there's this, which I counted down as a Kalanoid Napuli, but I still need to get further identifications. And what you just saw, I believe, is um, an egg sac of a calanoid. So goodbye.